Suhatai ruins are one of Thailand's most impressive world heritage sites. It literally translates to Dawn of Happiness, and it was one of its own independent kingdom, as well as the former capital city of Thailand. According to legend, the festival Loi Kraton began in the 13th century with a woman named Nanno Pamas, who was one of the consorts of the king of Suhatai. To impress the king, Napamas created an intricate floating raft from banana leaves and flowers. She then set a candle and incense stick in the center and placed it on the water to honor Buddha and the water goddess. When the king saw it, he was so impressed by its beauty that he proclaimed the festival would be celebrated in the same way every year since. The exact day of Le Craton varies every year depending on the full moon, but usually falls in November. Events in Zuhatai are held for 10 days with a nighttime light and sound show to illuminate the ruins. Over 300 talented actors and dancers perform a show based on the history of Suhatai and the legend of Loikraton. The ticket cost for the show is between 400 and 1200 baht. Thank you for sharing this wonderful occasion. When the sun had begun to make its ascent, pull off to the married bridge where Buddhist monks received the gifts, a traditional act in Thailand. The ritual mourning for donation to the monks or almsgiving, it's not an act of charity, but more a spiritual obligation that bonds the people, the former providing physical sustenance and the later spiritual guidance. It's a concept in Buddhism is that good deeds, acts or thoughts will bring good karma, either in this life or the next one.
name Loikraton could be translated as to float ritual vessel or lamp, and comes from the tradition of making kraton, a handmade small bowl traditionally made from banana leaves and a section of banana tree trunk, decorated with flowers, candles and incense sticks. A small coin is sometimes included as an offering to the river spirits, as well as pieces of hair and nails as a symbolic gesture for the bad luck to float away. The water resources is the source for sustainability for those people's livelihood. Therefore, they celebrate the festival and release cratons. To honor Buddha, to honor and thank the Thai water goddess for life-giving water, to express gratitude for the year's bountiful harvests, to seek forgiveness for polluting the waterways and any other wrongdoing committed, to see how long you and your loved one will be together, to let go of negativities and misfortunes, and to make a wish for a prosperous future. Oh, my God. 